Hi there, my name is David. I'm with the City of New Westminster Fitness Team, and today we're going to do a big gear climbing drill. Now, before beginning, please fill out the Park Q form. You'll find that provided for you online. Complete this form once a year to ensure that you're prepared for physical activity. And as always, please exercise at your own pace, modify the moves, and take breaks as needed. Drink lots of water, stay safe, and have fun. So this is a big gear climbing drill, and you can do this on an indoor bike such as this one if you have it, or you can also modify it and do it on one of your outdoor rides. If you're indoors, make sure your bike is set up properly, have some water available, and you're probably gonna need a towel as well, and always make sure you go at your own pace. If you're outdoors, make sure your bike is tuned up properly and you have the correct air pressure in your tires. It's a good idea to bring some identification with you and a credit card just in case you have a mechanical issue and need to get home quick. Always let someone know where you're going and roughly how long you're going to be. Wear a helmet, obey the rules of the road, have fun, and get home safe. Now using a bigger gear or adding more resistance to the bike, this worker is going to help you to build leg strength and increase your ability to generate power and endurance, whether you're on an outdoor climb or whether you're on a simulated indoor climb. So here's the drill. We're going to alternate one minute of climbing with about 30 seconds of active recovery. If you're doing this workout outside, just find a moderately steep incline, nothing too, too, too steep, a hill that you can kind of go up and down and hopefully fairly traffic free. For the outdoor riding, you can also increase the length of the climb maybe to three to five minutes and always make sure the active recovery is about half the amount of that work interval. We're gonna aim for perceived exertion of about seven to eight out of 10 or like 70 to 80% of effort level. Okay, so let's have fun and let's start climbing. All right, so on your bike, just find a nice easy gear to warm up at. Keep the cadence fairly low for now, maybe 75 to 90 RPMs. Just let those legs get warmed up. So when you're climbing, there's always a tendency to try and have a gear that's a bit too light, so to make the, the climb feel easier. When we're simulating an outdoor climb, we're actually going to be adding more resistance to really feel like we're going uphill. So again, this is a bigger climb, we're going to be focusing on a lower cadence and a harder gear. But let's just get warmed up first. Some nice easy cycling, always relax your shoulders, holding the handles with a nice light grip, abdominals in, head up, and just relax. You're always trying to pedal in full circles. If you're doing this workout outdoors, Make sure you've already been cycling for a good, you know, 15-20 minutes. Make sure you're nice and warmed up first. If you're riding indoors, you can get into this workout pretty quick. Let's just stretch those legs up by coming off the saddle for a few moments. Now every indoor bike is a little bit different, but most of them have some kind of an adjustment for resistance. So in a few moments, we're going to add resistance to the bike, and we're going to slow our cadence down. On my bike, it'll tell me I'm at about 65 RPMs. Just try and find something that's a fairly slow pace with a higher gear. And we're going to go for 10 minutes. We're doing seven minute climbs. That is seven one minute climbs with 30 seconds of active recovery. You ready for your first climb? Let's add some gear, slow your cadence to about 65 RPMs. We're going for one minute. And if you notice, my cadence is quite slow. And we'll do this whole first climb in a seated position. Excellent. You got 30 seconds. You 
You got 15 seconds in this first climb. Now hopefully you've got enough resistance on that bike. It makes it hard to pedal for the whole stroke. Awesome. Okay, drop your gear back down. Pick up the pace. This is active recovery. So we're not stopping all together. If you're outdoors, try to avoid coasting. Keep pin a little bit. In our next interval, we're gonna add just as much resistance, but we'll do the whole climb in a standing position off the saddle. All right, so begin to slow your pace. Now add your gears and stand up off the saddle. Good job. Now keep your weight centered over that saddle. You actually want to feel your rear end come into a little bit of contact with the saddle. Relax those shoulders. Hold the handlebars where it's comfortable. You got it. Now the cadence is slow. But the resistance is high. You got 15 seconds. Stay with me. Well, my legs run fire. <laughs> How about you? All right, that's one minute. Drop your gear. Pick up your speed. After recovery for 30 seconds. Okay, that's two, we got five more to go. Now the next minute, we'll do 30 seconds seated and 30 seconds standing. Ready to go? Start to slow your cadence, add your gears. We're climbing. Now as the climbs get harder, Push your rear end back in the saddle. Hold your handlebars wide. Increase that ability to take an oxygen. Now you want to make sure you've got enough gear on the bike to make this hard. Off the saddle. You got it, 15 seconds. All right, have a seat, drop that here, but pick up the pace after recovery. All right, now the fourth interval, We'll do 30 seconds standing and 30 seconds seated. Remember, you're going to control that resistance at as much gear as you can handle. Ready to go? Slow your cadence, add your gears. We're starting up. Now fight the temptation to go too far forward. Keep your body up a little bit. A little side to side motion is fine. Just stay in control. Excellent work, everybody. All right, have a seat. Drop your gear. Increase your cadence. All right, that's four intervals. You got three more. Now the next interval, 15 seconds seated, 15 standing, 15 seated, 15 standing. We've only got three more, so if you can add just a little bit more gear or resistance, go ahead. Are you ready? Add that gear, slow your pace. And as those gears get harder, push that butt back in the saddle. Man, this is working for me. We're up for 15 seconds. Oh. 
Excellent. We're down for 15 seconds. So nice full circles for that pedal stroke. Off the saddle, 15 seconds. You did it. Okay, have a seat, drop that cadence. Or sorry, up the cadence, but drop that gear. I had it reversed. <laughs> All right, two more intervals. The next one we all do again, but we're going to start standing. Now again, if you need to add a bit more resistance to improve your workout, be my guest. You want to challenge yourself, right? So slow your pace. Add the gears. Awesome. Have a seat. Relax, open up that chest. Lots of air in, lots of air out. You're off the saddle right now. Well, I can feel this. <laughs> My quads are on fire. Hope you can as well. And you're down. You did it, okay? So, lower your gear, but increase the pace. And we've got one fun interval. It's your choice. You can stay seated, you can stand, any combination you want. We're going to grind this one out to so the hardest gear you can handle for one minute. All right. This is not going to be pretty, guys. Are you ready? Add some gears. I'm starting seated. Now I'm going to try and keep that cadence at 65. I got a big gear going here. Okay, I'm now gonna go up. I feel good, how do you feel? I feel so good, I'm gonna add a little bit more resistance for the last 30 seconds. I know I can do it. Can you do it? All right, now my quads are really on fire. To the finish, guys. I'm off the saddle. Stay with me. You are almost there. And down. All right, pick up the cadence. We were that gear. So that's your 10 minute big gear climbing drill. Hope you enjoyed it, if that's possible. Now, if you're indoors, I'd recommend taking nice and easy for five or 10 minutes. Grab some water, towel off, and if you feel good, repeat that whole 10 minute drill one or two more times. If you're outdoors, just ride around for a while. Recover, then if you feel good, try it later on in your ride. Again, the big gear climbing drills really help to build the strength in the quads. When we're outdoors, we typically try and spin a little bit faster to get up the hills. So it's a good drill just to work at that lower cadence and bigger gear. Because when the hills get really steep, it all seems hard. All right, take a big stretch up. And then just take a big stretch down. All right, you're on your own. Thanks for watching. 
See you next time. Happy riding, everybody. Well done.